हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पेशेंट केयर वाइल ए पेशेंट इज ऑन एन आई ए बी पी हियर आई ए बी पी स्टैंड फॉर इंट्रा आयोटिक बलून पम्प इंट्रा आयोटिक बलून पम्प इज ए टाइप ऑफ थेरोपेटिक डिवाइस विच हेल्प द हार्ट टू पम्प मोर ब्लड विद ईच कंस्ट्रक्शन इंट्रा आयोटिक बलून पम्प हैज ए थिन एंड फ्लैक्सीबल ट्यूब इट्स वन एंड इज अटैच टू द टिप ऑफ द बलून कैथेटर and the another end of this tube is attached to a computer console this computer console has a mechanism of inflating and deflating the balloon at the proper time when heart beats this balloon catheter is inserted into the aorta through the femoral artery up to the descending aorta and the lower end of the balloon is kept just above the renal artery The catheter tip is radio opaque so its position can be visualized on x-ray film. The catheter attached to the computer console pump where helium is shuttled in and out of the catheter so that balloon can be inflated and deflated. Balloon inflation occurs just as diastole begins. This result in the movement of blood into the coronary and up to the carotid arteries means increasing coronary and carotid perfusion. now balloon deflation occurs at the end of diastole and just before systole which results in aortic blood being displaced down towards the mesenteric and renal arteries increasing perfusion to these organs and thus reducing the afterload the net result of balloon inflation and deflation is increasing coronary and cerebral perfusion and reducing myocardial workload respectively now the most common indications of iabp are low cardiac output due to left ventricular dysfunction and myocardial ischemia other indications includes septic shock and support post correction of anatomical defects now we are going to discuss some important point on nursing care of a patient on iabp after insertion of iabp the nursing care of the patient involves hemodynamic assessment maintaining fluid balance positioning and pressure area care observation of catheter insertion site limb perfusion and assessment of neurological status of the patient while taking care of a patient on iabp the palpation of dorsal spadix and posterior tibial pulses are very important assessing capillary refill temperature and color of related limbs should be observed strict intake and output record is maintained inform the doctor if any sudden decrease in urinary output because it is sign of decreased renal perfusion due to low cardiac output the iabp catheter should be flushed hourly and zeroed for hourly and always flush with the iabp pump piece on standby check the all connections and observe the balloon catheter hourly for presence of blood which may indicate balloon puncture or rupture observe the signs of infection such as erythema inflammation and pain at the insertion site and the raised white cells count monitor temperature hourly observe for the bleeding at canalization site vein puncture site urinary catheter and insertion site as a complication of anticoagulant therapy provide skin care and pressure area care it may needed a pressure relieving mattress air bed and if needed two hourly positioning with very careful as patient is on iabp never allow to fold the leg on which balloon catheter is inserted it can interrupt the balloon functioning Patients head and should not be elevated higher than 30 in any situation and for any procedure because it may kink or block the IBP catheter which is present on femoral site. Vital signs like heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation and temperature should be recorded hourly and continuously on cardiac monitor. This is all about patient care on IBP. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this